plus 201 pounds plus. The Olympic Festival Gold Super Heavyweights, Lance Whitaker, 247 pounds from Granada Hills, California, and 221 pound Thomas Martin from Miami, Florida. Martin in blue and Whitaker in black with the red headgear. The referee is Bill Wackerly from Rapid City, South Dakota. Thomas Martin, the 1995 National Golden Gloves champion, defeating Gary Bell in the finals. He was stopped in the U.S. Championships by Edward Mahone. Last year was second in the Golden Gloves and first in the Police Athletic League Championships. Whitaker, for his part, won a bronze medal at the Pan Am Games this year and a silver a year ago in the Goodwill Games. He is the 1994 U.S. champion, age 24, He stands six foot eight, three inch height advantage on Thomas Martin. Yo, we were very impressed with Martin and his victory over Lawrence Playbay in the semifinals. Well, that was considered a big upset to him. But the thing is, he had a very, very tough fight with Playbay, and he's fighting a couple of days later, which I don't think is doing too much good. But he is a talented kid. Clay Bay, this year's U.S. champion, kind of came out of nowhere to win that title, but upset by Martin in the semifinals here. Whitaker defeated Charles Schubert in his semifinal round. Martin is scoring points on the inside. Martin has been boxing on and off since, he's, since he was 14 years of age. Has some boxing heritage. Grandfather and a great uncle. First time Whitaker and Martin have met. Thomas Martin, an only child, lives by himself in Miami. His mother is here, his mother Lucy, watching him tonight, going for the Olympic Whit Festival gold. And Whitaker landed a roundhouse right that seemed to upset Martin. He's got a big, heavy punch, does Whitaker. Whitaker trains in the Lou Duva gym in New Jersey. Finds himself there, uh, the likes of Cornell Whitaker, and other well-known pros. Good left hook in that last exchange by Martin, Tim. And he's also landed with a good couple of good snappy left jabs. <laughs> Mentioned Whitaker coming from the Lou Duva gym. He's been sparring with the young professional from South Africa, Kurid Shabalala, who is a future star in the heavyweight ranks. And in fact, Shabalala is attending tonight to cheer on Lance Whitaker. <laughs> with 30 seconds in round one, Both big men throwing bombs and nobody connecting seriously in the last exchange. Right hand lead by Martin. And then he bangs a good left hook with the body. Good up seconds. Of round one. There's Lou Duva on the right and Kurt Shabalala with a USA hat, the young South African professional heavyweight. And uh, they're cheering on Lance Whitaker. He's from the Duva gym. No relation to Purnell Whitaker, by the way. Of course, they're now uh, somewhat teammates there in the Duva stable. Good exchange by both fighters. Whitaker is known uh, in the amateur ranks for his big right hand. So far, hasn't been able to land a real clean shot on Martin with it so far. Tim, he's also showing a real snappy left hook again. Uh, He's been hitting nothing but air with that left hook, but if it lands, it's going to be devastating. And his jab is effective. He admires uh, Muhammad Ali and Larry Holmes for the use of their jab. Play basketball and football in high school. And a coaching caution to the corner of Thomas Martin. First meeting between these two big men. And that first round scored for Lance Whitaker, five points to three. We're in the second. Whitaker just missed with a roundhouse right, but Martin scored to the left. That seemed to get Whitaker's attention. Another left from Martin. Now Martin the, Martin's getting nailed by some good solid punches too, Tim, but he punches right back. Whitaker got a good left hook in in the last exchange as Martin Picked up his tempo it was a good counter left back from Whitaker. 
Walker appears just a little more cautious here now after that exchange along the ropes. Backing away from Martin. Martin still going in cautiously, however. Both land jabs. Both fighters are breathing with their mouths wide open now, Tim. Again, Martin's trying to throw one-twos, but he can't reach Whitaker with that right hand. Oh, there's Martin. A big right hand from Whitaker. Got him absolutely flush. That's going to be it for this one. The big right hand of Lance Whitaker. A knockout of Thomas Martin to win the gold in the Olympic Sports Festival. Perfectly delivered. And they're quickly in to attend to Thomas Martin, the medical staff here of the Olympic Sports Festival. Make sure this young 18-year-old is, is all right. He's trying to get up to him, and they're trying to keep him down. As you mentioned, that Whitaker had that big right hand, Tim, and sure enough, right on the button. Thomas Martin is sitting up now, and you can see a full medical staff there to make sure the youngster's okay. Just 18, there's so much ahead for Thomas Martin, but today, this uh, day belongs to Lance Whitaker, the Olympic Festival Super Heavyweight Champion with this punch. All right, let's take a look at it. Martin threw that left jab, and Whitaker threw a right hand right over it. That was, the, that was the mistake that we saw him making in his fight with Clay Bay, too. Bay was able to nail him with those right hands, but not like this one that Whitaker landed him with. Tremendous shot for the U.S. champion adding the Olympic Festival goal to his resume for 1995 with that huge right hand. And Tim, he, drops that, he, he threw the jab and dropped it on the way back. Take a, take a look at Thomas Martin's left hand. There it is. There it's down. Right over that left hand and down and out. Well, a hard-learned lesson for the National Golden Glove champion this year here at the Olympic Sports Festival, Thomas Martin stopped by the big right hand of Lance Whitaker, and there is the victorious super heavyweight champion for this year's Olympic Sports Festival, and Martin is on his feet. We're glad to see that. A warm round of applause from the crowd here at the Air Force Academy. This is the most powerful right hand I have ever seen landed in amateur boxing. He is out with Lance Whitaker and his coaching staff. Lance, uh, congratulations, a huge right hand. You've already built a reputation for that in the amateur ranks. Did you expect that's how the fight would end? Yeah, something like that. I've been working hard, you know, with, with Tommy Brooks, got the best trainers in the world, Lou Duva, and been practicing, bending my knees and working out, and everything come together, you know? Well, you certainly uh, have uh, the Olympic team within reach. A lot of tough competitions to go before you're actually named to the team. Is that your major goal to get to Atlanta? Yeah, my main goal is to make the Olympic team and go to the Olympics and represent my country. Is that something you've thought about since you were a kid? Um, no. <laughs> when did you start? Uh, a couple years ago. Two years ago. When well, you got to be 6'8 and 250. Exactly. 6'8 <laughs> two, six, and 250. All right, well, we wish you very good luck. Everybody will be watching you closely from now to Atlanta and hope you're there. Okay, thank you. you All right. It. Lance Whitaker, the super heavyweight champion at the Olympic Sports Festival. One of the country. Hi, Mom. Well, now let's applaud some other gold medalists here in Colorado Springs at 100. Okay, 